So my name is Ann Deming. I'm your host today. I've been with X Matters almost seven years now, but the highlight for today, if you move your eyes over to the left-hand side of the screen, is Nathan. So Nathan is going to be doing the demonstration. He is a senior solution architect based in the UK in EMEA. He's been with X Matters almost uh, over three years, and pre before that, previously spent over five years in workforce management and IT support. And having worked with Nathan, Nathan over the years, I can assure you every time he interacts with a customer, he has this very unique skill where he can listen to a challenge that they're facing and then translate that to specific features and functionality in the product and how X Matters can solve that. And that's why he has become a trusted customer advisor and why we're very happy that he's doing the demonstration today. He also brings valuable experience that crosses the entire incident resolution process which is pertinent to today's demo. So this is a brief overview. It is a core demo of the X Matters product. And what we're gonna do is show you our approach to successfully fix problems that you're probably facing when you're trying to modernize a service. So I'm gonna make an assumption that that's why you're here. There's something that you're trying to do. And we have a unique approach with two very important areas. The first, you're gonna be developing products that customers love. That's the goal always. But the important thing is at the same time, you have to maintain an available disruption-free infrastructure. And that's the heart of X Matters. That is the balance. And it's why we call ourselves the digital service availability platform. So there's three takeaways, three things that I want you to keep in mind as you approach the demo. The first, autonomy. Second, enriched alerts. And the third, ease of use, I'll explain those. We're going to empower you with autonomy. So you have the ability to act quickly. Enriched alerts, you're going to see and you're going to have relevant information so that you can act quickly when you're handling a service issue. And finally, it's very easy to use. And if I have some developers, if I have some folks who are interested in integrations, keep that in mind because it's very key. And with that, I will now move to the demo. And Nathan, I'm going to stay on the line and live on video and audio just to confirm when you share your screen and that I can hear you OK. So hello there. Hello, Anne. Thank you very much for that lovely introduction. And hopefully uh, you should be seeing a nice X Matters desktop. We are indeed. You're good to go. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Anne. So yeah, um, as Anne mentioned, if you're here today, the chances are that you're looking for a better way to communicate among multiple tools. Now, sometimes people are having trouble with tool chain automation. Sometimes teams are struggling to understand the random alerts that they receive. Maybe you're just tired of lackluster integrations or wasting precious time on endless integration maintenance. Well, the good news is we can help solve every single one of these issues and more. So what you're gonna see in the demo momentarily is more about this. Firstly, there's an ever growing number of tools being used within organizations. And chances are different teams across your business are choosing different tools, even if they're similar in functionality. Now, most of the time, this is born out of personal preferences within the team, but sometimes there's specific functionality that's required. And while it's great that teams can have that flexibility, when an issue starts snowballing across multiple applications, those different teams and their different tools start to struggle with collaboration and getting a clear picture of what's going on. So as you're sitting here watching the demo today, try jotting down all of the tools that you know your team are using and what other tools other teams might be using. And I can imagine it's quite a few. So this will all lead to delays trying to move forward to a resolution, simply because these different teams can't get hold of the information that's held in tools that they don't have access to. And this is becoming especially noticeable when dev and ops teams are using different systems. So when you're trying to manage a disruptive event, the manual steps of going to other teams and other tools to look up information ultimately slows you down. And your time is far too valuable to waste. And let's be honest, nobody wants to be doing those manual repetitive tasks during incidents. You wanna be working on new features and functionality that gives your team and the product a competitive advantage compared to your competitors. So what's the answer here? Well. As Anne mentioned, the main challenge that you've got is how do you develop products that your customers will love, but maintain service availability? Well, let's start off by taking you into the X Matters mobile app here. 
We'll start off, first of all, with this signal that I've received from one of the monitoring tools in our tool set. In this case, it's Stackdriver. And that's landed in my XMatters mobile app. That signal has found me because XMatters has all of the on-call information for the team that owns this service. So it's followed the on-call schedule, any relevant escalations to notify me as that on-call SRE. Now, in addition to that Stackdriver core information, XMatters has also grabbed some additional related information from other systems automatically. So I can now start to see what's wrong. And this is what we call an enriched notification because data from a single source is rarely ever enough to restore a service. And in today's world, so much of your tech stack is interconnected. So the chances are you need to look outside of the alert to get better situational context. And as you come away from today's session, have a think about what steps you take when you're trying to triage your current alerts and just how long that takes you. Here on my mobile screen, I can see what's going on and more importantly, what recently changed. Did somebody commit a new piece of code? Was there a new build recently deployed? Is my queue elsewhere within the tech stack stacking up? My first three questions there are already immediately answered. So this capability helps you make quicker decisions, saving you precious time. And having been on call myself in previous years, this sort of thing at two o'clock in the morning helps you get back into bed much quicker. So we're empowering you with the information that X Matters has gathered. What next? Well, the chances are you're gonna try and perform some form of remediation to restore your service. And again, X Matters gives you that power. Perhaps it's remediating the issue by restarting the service or scaling the environment using a runbook tool, potentially saving you from declaring an incident altogether. Of course, if you do need to declare an incident, X Matters can automate that step for you, keeping your key users, stakeholders, and more importantly, tools up to date. Now, in this case, X Matters gathered information from a variety of tools, such as our code repository and build deployment tools. Those are great clues because let's face it, Things usually only break when somebody changes something unexpectedly. But you can also look elsewhere for clues. Maybe you want to check a service upstream or downstream, in this case, RabbitMQ. Or perhaps you want to see if your operations or infrastructure team currently have an active or recent change window and just forgot to set some blackouts on your monitoring tools. All of those checks are done there automatically for you. And it's worth noting that these are only a small sample of the integrations that are possible with XMatters. So if you wanna grab data from another repository or from JIRA to check recent enhancement stories, you can do, just use your imagination. So you're probably wondering how complex all of this is. What you're seeing on the screen now is a part of the XMatters platform, our flow designer. And it delivers that autonomy that Anne mentioned earlier on, as well as the power of orchestration across different tools. Now, each icon on the canvas here is a step and a step is essentially an integration action, which you can chain together to build workflows. And you literally just drag and drop each of those steps onto the canvas to build your flows. And in our simple example, you can see those tools that we just saw within the signal. So the signal coming in from Stackdriver, connecting to Bitbucket for our code repo merges, Jenkins to check recent builds, RabbitMQ for the status of our message broker, and ServiceNow for our recent change requests. So the better your triage info that on the signal is, the faster that you can figure out what to do. And as you can see, Flow Designer can fetch whatever data is needed. And it's also easy to change. So as your teams and tools change, you can simply swap out the steps accordingly. And what's more, each team can build their own versions of these workflows relevant to their process, giving everybody the autonomy that they need while still being easy to use. So essentially, X Matters is acting as your triage sidekick here, going off to all of the different systems and automatically gathering the information that you need to, become, uh, to begin troubleshooting. And this becomes even more useful when you think about the incident lifecycle, with X Matters able to be your incident scribe and capture key audits, keynotes, and actions ready for your post-mortem. So that's just a quick taster of some of the core functionality of XMatters. You've seen XMatters smartly deliver an enriched signal from your monitoring tool to your on-call SRE and empower them to triage effectively and take relevant action to restore those services, 
all of which is easily orchestrated through that flow designer workflow as you've just seen there. So thanks Anne, hope that was a nice little quick walkthrough there. That was exactly what we needed to see. Thank you, Nathan. I'm gonna get bring up my PowerPoint slide again. Let me know if you see the demo as you take a drink with a thumbs up, excellent. Um, so again, we pointed out at the beginning, Nathan brought it up during the demo. Um, I'll move to the next slide here. Hopefully you were thinking about those things, autonomy, enriched alerts, and ease of use. So with X Matters, individuals and teams have the power, the control to build a reliable customer ex and user experience. And they can just move quickly because of those enriched communication alerts. And by the way, that supports an agile architecture. So for those of you who have a desire to create, a desire to innovate, this is the key here. And you can do it easily. It also means if we think even further, the reason that you're here, obviously we wanna make you successful, but we want to help you help your customers. So keeping that customer in mind, what this means is that you can deliver reliable customer experiences. You can iterate without risk. You can protect against those incidents and reduce operational pain. And time after time, when we hear from customers who've started leveraging X Matters, one of the most exciting things is being able to find and eliminate those manual pains in the operation. It's huge, it's key. So X Matters has helped thousands and thousands and thousands of teams around the world gain efficiencies across development, across infrastructure departments, and we've reduced that wasted time and those unplanned annoying disruptions but also giving innovators precious time back in their day to create. And again, that's the balance of X Matters. That's the power that you need in today's digital service world. And I will give you a customer example because I think that's also relevant because we'd love for you to be a successful customer as well. But on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna point out some highlights. First of all, with um, this is Tesco, a prominent global retailer. Probably many of you are familiar with them. But one of the things that they shared was that this was the right thing to do for their customers. And when X Matters was in the picture, they were able to improve issue acknowledgement to 98%. They are living a proactive approach to notifications. And by the way, that last highlight on the bottom left, they implemented in 27 days. As you can imagine, that is a huge benefit to their organization and continues. And imagine what you could do if, like them, you were able to resolve issues quickly and improve that entire team collaboration experience. Please know we are eager to help you as well. So uh, there are a couple of questions in the chat. Let me stop sharing uh, my screen for just a moment. Oh, I can manage both at the same time. You'll get to see me multitasking in action. So um, there are a couple comments in about um, integrations, uh, number of integrations, whether there's a cost to integrations. Uh, the best way to answer that is this, that there are unlimited integrations and access to our APIs that are available at every single product tier that X Matters offers. And by the way, that is including free. Um, so that's an important thing to note. There are also questions about the product. So hold on, let me get rid of these buttons here as everything takes over my screen. But it's actually a good segue to being able to try X Matters. We would love for you to be able to try X Matters to use it. You might need it today. You'll notice at the bottom, there's me referencing the website once again, xmatters.com slash sign up. You can try the product. Um, you can also have it for free forever. So kind of a powerful thing there. Um, there were one or two comments about integrations as well. And I think one of the highlights, the best way to explain that and urge you to find more information and to address those inquiries is to talk about some of our upcoming webinars. So if you're an existing customer, you also might know we offer training and workshops where you can continually find ways to add value to what you're using in X Matters, other integrations, um, other use cases. But also we have webinars on starting next week, a week from today is event flood control on February 2nd, but tied to those integrations and flow designer, the one to keep your eye on is February 16th. We will dive into flow designer specifically. So if you remember at the tail end of Nathan's demo, he was showing that canvas where this, the icons were steps in the process. So for any of you who are interested in tool chaining, if you're interested in process orchestration or simply more integrations, as Nathan said, think about or write down some of those tools that are in your infrastructure, maybe that you're having trouble getting information from or to, that is the webinar for you. So February 16th. And also 
we're a very good complement to the infrastructure that you have in place, the tools that all of those different teams are using to do the very best at their job. And a great example of that is the webinar that's coming up on February 23rd, which is automated self-healing with X Matters and Dynatrace. So very exciting to see. And as always, one more plug for the website, xmatters.com. We have upcoming events. That's probably where most of you registered for today's session as well. Nathan, thank you for guiding us through the demo. You know, I sign up and watch anytime you're gonna show us more about the product. Thank you for all of you who joined today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you understood more about what X Matters can offer. And we can give you a little bit of time back into your day. This now concludes the X Matters demo days of our core product. Have a great day. Thanks everyone. Thanks Anne.